of what we do while we're here. Since we've been here for like two and a half months, actually two months, a little over two months, I wanted to give you guys an idea of what it's like to live in Croatia. It's kind of cold as you can tell, we're bundled up, which we're not super happy about. We have shoes. We're wearing regular shoes, pants. <laughs> this is not the life I signed up for. Outside's raining right now, I think it's raining, if not, raining at the moment. It has been raining all day today. We're gonna go to the store, buy some groceries, and we're gonna go get some pizza to bring back to the apartment. Okay, here's where we come get our fast food here in Croatia. It's a place called Popeye. Usually we get like panini sandwiches and other types of meat on bread scenario. But I think we're gonna get pizza today, which is over here, you can get a jumbo margarita pizza for 58 kuna, which equates to about eight to nine dollars. You can get a big long like panini sandwich for 15 kuna, which is really cheap. That's like just a little over two bucks. But today we're gonna get pizzas. While well, our pizza's being made, we're gonna go to the store, which is just right across the street here. This is like a one-way street. Crossing the crosswalk is, it's like the US. I think people stop here more often. Yeah, people do tend to stop for you a little bit more, but. We did have one experience here the last time we were here. We saw somebody get hit by a car, which wasn't at a crosswalk, so. Yeah. So, yeah, you know, it's not to say that it's more or less safe. That kind of stuff can happen anywhere. We just happen down the street, so we're like super cautious. Right? Yeah, now we're super cautious, especially now that we have three kids. When that happened, when we were here, we didn't have the kids with us, but now we're super cautious about crossing streets here. Okay, so here's the store that's by our house. It's called Konzum. Stores here are generally kind of small like this with bigger stores on the outskirts of town in the malls oh when you meet we should get a little shopping cart okay so like chicken obviously sold by the kilo not by the pound uh, red meat selection is usually pretty bad because they're just not good source of red meat here in europe but there's lots of pork there's lots of chicken and Usually we buy these whole chickens and just kind of butcher it up ourselves and do what we want with them. We bought a whole chicken, like some pork chops, some stew beef meat, and like four chicken leg quarters, some coffee, just some miscellaneous stuff. And that was 200, 180 kuna, which is like a little less than 30 bucks. Yeah. So shopping's not terribly expensive. Some things though are kind of, you know, you kind of got to watch where you buy it. Like anchovies, for example, in olive oil, we paid more yesterday at another store than they sell it here. So it's just like the US. Yeah. Shop around a little bit. Cooking at your own place, as always, is obviously cheaper. Sometimes eating out for just like one or two people it's very affordable if you know where to go.
on the split riva and it's one of these few sunny days that we have this week so we're out walking around it's actually marling's birthday today our favorite ice cream guy is actually out on vacation now for two months so we're having to use another ice cream place and it's kind of rare these days for uh, ice cream to be sold in the winter but this place still has it Well, this is our usual ice cream guy. He is closed until, yeah, till the spring. Kind of the spring. Daddy, is that still winter? Is that uh, in this year or no? He's cl he closed like four days ago, and then he's gonna open February first. Oh he's gonna open back in that much days? Uh huh. What? This is called the uh, Riva. Every town has got one of these rivas, which is like the waterfront. Right. Or every coastal town, anyways. And the one in Split is one of the bigger ones because it's right in front of this old palace from the Roman era. And it's called Diocletian's Palace. Croatia used to be part of the Roman Empire, and back then, Diocletian was the ruler in, during that era. And he built this place as like his summer retreat. Right. Just like people do now, they come to Croatia for the summer. They did it back in those days too. So right now it's actually mostly locals that are here. And it's uh, the whole month of December, they have like Christmas kind of celebrations. And look how many people are here. Like a week ago, none of this was here. And they have like live music. They have booths set up serving beer, coffee, like homemade sausages, traditional stuff. We've never been here in December. It's pretty cool. It's a little cold, but it's still pretty cool. When it's, it's been raining, so when the sun comes out, it's, it's like the super sun warm. Before it super goes warm away and sunny. It's gonna rain tomorrow, and it's gonna rain probably for the next five days. But right now, right now it's good. Yeah, it's nice.
je, Boži je, a o moje sami malo je chlado je, samo jedna topla za umovoku je. Jesus, Lord, it's a bird. Jesus. 